Hi, so after completing the um, the leadership skills questionnaire, I determined that I would be an interpersonal skills. That's what I would use the most as a manager. Um, management isn't anything that I'm actually interested in, but I feel like from my own personality and from experience with my own manager, interpersonal skills is very important because you have to be able to work along with the people working under you and you have to keep them happy to make your job easier. Um, I do believe in the horizontal um, leadership, uh, leadership, what is it called? Structure. Um, I believe that you know people do need to report to one another. People, floor nurses need to report to the manager. The manager needs to report to someone above them. That person needs to report to the president, vice president, chief nursing officer. Um, everyone should have someone to answer to. I don't think that anyone should be necessarily on the same page. So floor nurses, staff nurses, we're on the same level. Then we have our um, assistant nurse managers. And then, you know, there's someone above them. I don't think anyone should go without someone to answer to. Even like the chief nursing officer, there's always the CEO of the hospital. Then at our particular hospital, we have a board that the um, CEO answers to. So, you know, there's always someone to keep you in check. You're not just out there making decisions on your own. Um, the type of resources that I would use... For the management functions, I thought when it came to planning, because I feel like that is very important, I feel like if you have a plan, people aren't, you know, caught in the dark. That's probably one of my biggest things as a staff nurse is being caught in the dark and decisions being made for me. Therefore, if there's a plan in place, then people know what to expect and you have happier employees. Um, I think that takes a lot of experience and skill, not only as a manager, but just as a person in general. Um, communication is so important. Um, you have to be able to communicate. If you're poor, poorly communicating with your employees, that is going to do nothing but blow up in your face. And I've seen that many times working in the healthcare industry almost 10 years. Um, it's so important. I just Communication is key. Even as cliche as it sounds, it's very, very important. Um, secondly, I feel like you have to be um, motivated. You have to be happy in your own job, happy in your own life. Because if you come to work every day as a manager and you're just lethargic, laissez-faire, that's the way your employees are going to think that they're able to be too. So there has to be an expectation there. There has to be a standard. You have to lead by example. Um, I don't necessarily think that I would probably make the best manager. I don't think that I would be able to hold the boundaries that are necessary to be an effective leader because those are important as a leader. Um, the article that I found... It's actually from the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. It talks about, you know, turnover rate in the nursing field and how it's one of the highest turnover, um, has the highest turnover rate in, prof in any profession. So there's a section of it that talks about the managerial implications. And the thing about a manager is you have to keep your employees happy. Um, you have to reduce the stress by applying the right human resources policies. Um, hospital managers must apply appropriate policies to decrease the occupational stressors. And it says that they can decrease the occupational stress in an organization by increasing nurses' satisfaction with policies, work conditions, equal compensation, and equal promotion. So for me, that means um, that... Means that you have to show appreciation for your employees. You have to make sure that they are compensated um, appropriately. You can't you, you give incentives. So if you have someone in particular, like on my unit, that is a certified oncology nurse, they should be making more money. If you are an ICU nurse, critical care nurse, and you're also oncology, and you can give chemo, in my opinion, you should be making more money. 
Um, you're taking on more job responsibility. Therefore, you're going to have more satisfied employees if they are compensated. They'll feel more appreciated. If they can't make more per hour, which is the case in my hospital, we all make the same, then, you know, little things can also be beneficial. We do meal tickets, movie tickets, car washes, and, you know, it might not be a huge thing, but it does show that you're appreciated and that you're recognized, which I think is a big thing um, for a manager to do to keep their employees happy. The article was, you know, pretty interesting because it's actually out of... Iran, I believe, and so it just shows that nursing across the board is a stressful, you know, high turnover rate type of job. It's not just hard here in the United States. Um, so different levels and departments that you would have to work with to be effective in your role. Like I said before, you have to be able to work with the people above you, your AVPs, your presidents, you know, the physicians, the nurse manager. Especially on my floor, we work very closely with our doctors, um, but you also have to be able to work closely with um, environmental, the people that keep your unit clean, um, housekeeping, the people from dietary, because they're the ones in and out of your patient stream feeding your patients, and food is a big deal at, at our hospital. Uh, our patients are usually there from 30 to 60 days, so we want them to be able to enjoy the food and get the food they're supposed to get so that type of relationship is important um you know you 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 have to have a good relationship with a lot of people you encounter a ton of people it's the doctors the drug reps everyone you keep the drug reps happy so they'll be there and willing to help out your patients um social workers you know it's it's a job that takes a lot of people pleasing if you ask me you're a people pleaser and you want to please people so it takes a very special person um, and like I said before I would have a preference of the vertical structure um, I believe in the book you know it talks about the staff nurses nurse manager director of education vice president of nursing and hospital administrator and I think that that um, gives you someone to delegate to, it has someone to answer to, there's a chain of command that's followed if there's an issue. So that is very important as a, a nurse manager.